Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to a wonderful thrifty Thursday. I've got things from Amazon, I've got some items I picked up from Facebook's marketplace. So yeah, I have been uh, listing some items and doing garage sales and so I don't normally do much Facebook. But because of course once you look once it always sends you, well there's this available and there's that available. You see all these bargains and you can't, can't pass them by. So I picked up a couple of boxes of craft items. One of the boxes I have not been through show you a photo of it. Uh, picked it up late one night. I have not had a minute since. So we're going to go through that one together. The other one, I went to a card crafting um, place. Or the lady used to do card crafting. And I just picked over those ones and picked out the bits that I liked because there's a lot of card craft stuff that I don't use. Um, so I've got the box of that too to show you. And my Amazon stuff that I ordered recently started to arrive. So I've got these things to go through with you as well. So let's start with what's on the desk, I guess. <laughs> I've been wanting like these silicone brushes, um, but I'd seen these ones. These are ones that what I was really wanting for glue because you can just peel the glue off. You don't have to worry about ruining your brushes. Um, so having these specifically for gluing. So these are like, you know, rubber silicone and they just then you can just smoothly do your glue. So I really wanted some of these. So I've got two sizes, plus I've got these extras. Um, okay, let's just get rid of the little things. So we know with book binding, I actually want to start making more books and I might start selling them. I don't know. So I thought, well, I'm gonna need more twine. So this is the wax thread. I bought a big pile of it from Amazon. So yeah, won't run out of that for a while. Uh, Amazon, I also got, I wanted some, I want to make some, you know, dangles to go on the back of spines and also dangles on tags. I think they look really cute. So I picked these up, which are leaves. So I'm going to share some of these with the Wednesday group. And then I've got all these butterflies. Aren't they gorgeous? Different colored butterflies. Beautiful. Shiny blue one there. That's nice. Yep. And this one was a mixed lot of, supposed to be gold, but they're sort of really, you know, funny looking gold. But they'll look all right when there's just one, you know, on a dangle. But all different miscellaneous things. A little Eiffel Tower. That's cute. Tree of Life. Little owl, butterfly, the leaf's quite nice. So they are really cute. Uh, I think there's a hundred pieces, so, and they weren't they weren't expensive. Way cheaper to buy them for me anyway on on Amazon than locally in our local craft shops. You pay like five dollars and you get like ten pieces. Um, so this is a hundred pieces, um, ten dollars for hundred pieces, something like that. I'm not sure. So I won't need to buy any uh, for a while. So yeah, happy with those. They turned out fine. I've got one little failure. This. <laughs> As I was editing the video, I realized I hadn't really shown you the charms. So these are the ones that I unboxed um, with you. And I've had another little parcel since, since the other day, since I haven't <laughs> had time to edit the video. But these are the leaves. Uh, so you get one, two, three, four, five different colors, 10 of each, uh, all very usable. And these ones, you get five of each design. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different colors. Nine fives are 45. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was 45. It doesn't say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, so ten designs and five of each type. And this one is a hundred. The gold ones are a hundred of each different one. So if that's not good value for each different set, um, they were between like eight and eleven dollars for each set, and um, yeah, I'm very happy with those. So, and then I also got two more packs, which I'll show you in a moment. And these arrived uh, just after I'd finished filming, or the next day, and 125 different keys. Well, they're not all different, but 125 keys and many different styles. Some of them there's only one of the bigger ones. Some that one's only one of that one. I can only see one of that one. But I've paired up a few of them, so there's two of quite a few of the designs. Some of them, there's three or four, um, but so many different ones. <laughs> um, yes, I, I think they're all gorgeous. They're um, yes, a full set of keys. I'll put this. I can't remember the price. I'll put it up on the screen. But I chose all the inexpensive uh, pieces uh, because I'm always seeing people using cute little charms on their journals and things. And as I say, locally they're very expensive. Well, that's a cute little one there. 
for the little ones down here. I could sit here organising them for ages <laughs> into their pairs. It's like doing a jigsaw puzzle. But yeah, they're gorgeous. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. And I also got a pile of silver ones. So I think, guessing there's about 50 in this one. The packet doesn't say, but it looks like about 50. All different types. So I've got gold, silver, I've got coloured butterflies and coloured leaves. So plenty to choose from now from charms. I won't need to buy any animal, plus the keys. <laughs> I won't need to buy any for quite some time. And uh, then the other thing I didn't show you properly was the dies. So I'll show you that next. Die cuts. Well, I wanted to make different shapes of flowers. I've got the Sizzix, you know, the Thin Lits one. And everything to do with Tim Holtz is so expensive. So I bought some cheaper die cuts from Amazon. So and this is the little die set that I got um, all in one set. So that was for good value. I think it was $8.99. So, so just some different flowers so I can get different shapes. I have to start using my die cut machine more. Okay, back to the rest of the video. <laughs> I think I just picked these up at the local shop Spotlight. Just some little flowers for about four or five dollars, but they are just some a variety of colours. Uh, this book, I uh, I was looking at a video of reverse colouring, and you couldn't you couldn't sort of see a video of every different book that Amazon has. So I think I ordered two different ones. So obviously this one, this one is a fail. It's not even a reverse coloring book. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's, it's I always think I'd like to take, send it back. I'm going to see how much I paid for it. But yeah, if you're looking for a reverse coloring book, I totally recommend not getting this one. So if you haven't seen or heard of reverse coloring books, what they do is they put a splash of colors on and then you just get your pen and draw flowers or shapes, whatever you see in the, um, the colored blobs that, they, that someone has artistically put on the page for you and that way then you don't have to do the watercoloring bit first you don't have to have buckled paper because you really are just going to use your markers on already colored and printed paper now the one that I saw the review of which I'm not sure it was but I'll try and post a picture of that on the screen I think I've ordered that one as well um, but the, she was happy with it and it was a lovely book this I'm not happy with all it has is this book belongs to and then it's got this but it's already got black lines it's not supposed to have black lines it's supposed to be blobs of wispy pretty colors and you can draw your flowers in um, it's supposed to be anti-anxiety this gives me anxiety looking at it it's a the idea is that you don't know what it is so you make your own shapes but it's already got black lines around it so what are you supposed to color in and the paper's shiny and they're all like that. So, what is it? What do you do with it? You can't color it in. It's shiny paper anyway. It's, it's just not going to absorb paint very well. It's not, um, markers probably going to, you know, not even, I'm not going to test it because I might send it back yet. It's not a very good book at all. And so there's a whole, um, it was made by Amazon in Sydney but there's a whole thing about it. And so what? So it's half a vase. So what, are you supposed to finish the vase? But it's already got a flower in there. I mean, and it's already colored and it's already got black lines around it. So what are we supposed to do exactly? I'm not sure. And the whole book's like that. They're already into shapes. They missed the point. <laughs> it's colored in, it's got shapes, and it's just cut off at the bottom and the top. So, mm. so that was a bit of a fail. So I might actually send that back. I'm interested to see how big these bottles are. One sec. This is my gold that I use a lot of. I love it. And it's running low. And I paid $20 for it last year. It's now at least $30 wherever I see it. I haven't got any locally anyway. It's $30 on Amazon to buy one, and it says 30 mil. These say 30 mil as well. I think this was 60, but you get six inks. So if that's true, <laughs> it's a bargain. That's why I bought it. So I'm pretty sure it was, I, I won't know because I can't remember off the top of my head. So I will put it on the screen how much this little, little box costs, but it is a hugely brilliant value. Carbon black. The iridescent gold, which is exactly the same, 30 mil. Oh, awesome. Titanium white, that's handy. Oh, I see. A rich bronze. 
a rich copper. I love metallics at the moment. They're my thing at the moment. A little tray to put them in. And the um, bright silver. So a cute little tray. Wow, isn't that awesome? That's the box if you want to see what it looks like on Amazon and search it. I haven't got around to doing an Amazon shop. Last time I asked, I couldn't have one because I didn't have enough subscribers. I'm probably okay now. It was before I was monetized. So I probably could create a shop. So that's a job for me to do. But at the moment, I don't have one. So that's what you need to look for to order it. All right, sticking with Amazon. Oh, just let's get rid of these. I bought some uh, watercolor paper because I wasn't happy with the last project I did. So I thought I might try this paper. This is so Spotlight locally was having a 30% off everything in the shop. So I thought, well, it's a good time to buy watercolor paper. Fabriano is a good brand. So I picked up this smaller one. This is only 200 GSM. Because um, the paper I've got, a lot of the papers I've got are rough and which are no good for drawing on when you want to do the doodling afterwards. These are supposed to be. That's supposed to be cold press. Yeah, two cold press. So I can cut those in the big ones in half. So I don't know which was better value. But they were on. Oh, here we've got the price. Uh, the big one was 28 for 12 pages. $28 Australian for 12 pages. And the other one was $12.60 for 12 pages, which is double the size. So if you say that you got two out of those, so that will be $25. So in actual fact, two of those is better value than one of those. But it doesn't matter, except if you want to do A3. Um, but I must just do A4. But anyway, I've got some nice nice paper to start playing with. I've bought so much paint, I need to start doing something <laughs> more artistic. So then I've got these items. So let's do this book first. I thought this would be quite handy. I quite like it. I've had a little look at it. There's lots of YouTube videos on how to draw and how to paint. But sometimes you just need a, yeah, step-by-step -step realistic line drawing. So, you know, it takes you from the beginning. You start with that and then you add those, add those, add those, and you end up with a nice tulip. So I just think that that's really helpful for me. First of all, I don't really know very many flowers. So, I, you know, and then this one, you know, it's a really easy way of starting and then you end up with a nice, you know, nice flower. So step by step how to sketch and draw a flower but anyway I thought it would be quite handy so there's a hundred flowers how to sketch them from the start to the end oh wow okay so you get that to that but I think that will be um, a fun project to do to uh, copy some of these line drawings and then try to get them into you know be uh, painted I thought that was nice I like that I like that book I don't like that other book I got so I did pick up these a while, uh, just a week or so ago when I went to an art shop because I really want pearlescent watercolours. So I picked, I did pick these up and I have used them. But that was a paint set that I got recently and I quite like it. It's not new, I know, but this I picked up this watercolour set. So this is a swatch of the colours. That's handy. <clears throat> Very handy. And then you can do your own swatching. Well, it's quite nice for them to provide that kind of stuff. And you can see what it looks like on black. So yeah, you've got a palette already organised for you to uh, test them out on. You get a little packet of watercolour paper, black and some white. And what does the little set look like? It comes in this cute tin with a little lock. 12 metallic and 6 chameleon. That was why I'm looking for something that does the colour change in watercolour. So it's a little cute set. Oh, it comes with a nice water brush. fancy looking water brush hmm. push oh okay cool that's quite a nice point on that one a metallic marker oh okay didn't know you got that silver metallic marker and it's shaking up sponge and little palettes and the paints hmm Oh, look at that. So they're the chameleon colours. Oh, right. Yes, because I was watching a YouTube channel and she used these colours that change, but they're by Crema Pigments, Crema Pigments in Germany, and you can't get them on Amazon or anything, and you can't, I can't get them here. Uh, so this looks like these are the normal metallics, and these are these chameleons. So these will change colour, depending on, see, that looks pink, and then it looks white. So... 
that looks blue gray and then it looks green and it probably goes probably goes to a kind of a yellow as well so that's got the green so the lady I was watching was Gabriel Anna Cormier art and she was using this sort of greeny color and uh, it was look really made me made the picture look really stunning so can't wait to try those out and this lady Gabrielle she also uses fountain pens to um, to do her doodles and I thought oh I'd love to use a fountain pen it just feels so decadent and luxurious I don't know oh, okay this is nice oh that's nice when I see people using the fountain pens I'm like oh I'd like that one so look how pretty it's really solid it's really heavy yes yeah, so we'll have to try this out and it's got the because the idea is is that you use a fountain pen for your doodling and then you you get you get a permanent nib that's that never frays or it's just always the same because it's metal anyway she doodles with her fountain pen so I thought I might get one so it's got 24 cartridges or oh, 12 black and 12 blue okay I don't know how much this was it might have been about 30 oh, I don't think I'd pay any more than that at the moment for a pen I just wanted to try it out so it's quite a nice pen I do think I used to use fountain pens a long time ago when I was doing calligraphy and things. I haven't done any for a long time. Yes, I look forward to playing with that. So I'll have to do a project, won't I, with um, some of these new products. Can't do them today. I've got too much to show you. <laughs> I'll probably have to cut some of this stuff out. I've already spent 20 minutes and I haven't even got to the the reason why I came online. I want to do more drawing and I've been doing a lot of, like, we've been doing drawing and uh, painting and stuff and we do tracing. And so I found this. I don't think it was very expensive. It's an A4 light box. So you can trace on top of it. I, had a, I watched a, a video about it and I just thought it looked very handy to have. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, see. So I just got, picked up a, a, another pad. So the idea is, it, I, have, I did see on the video that it works better when your room is not so brightly lit. So the idea is that you can then trace obviously not going to trace this but you can trace whatever you want to um, color in or draw and uh, practice your sketching and drawing and stuff instead of using tracing paper and then transferring it with graphite paper and things like that I think mum I thought you might be interested in one of these because mum's doing a lot of uh, painting and drawing and stuff but she's using you know like um, using pictures already drawn by people on the internet that teach you how to do it and then you know you just paint it yourself so it's a bit like paint by numbers without the numbers <laughs> oh it's it's got three light settings so that was the lowest setting now it's got the brightest settings so let's go through the settings get okay, off one two three four so three different brightnesses yeah, I think you'll like this, Mum. <laughs> I might have to get you one for your birthday. But then you have to wait till July. I did go op shopping the other day, but I didn't get very much. Uh, I think I got some envelopes and some snippets, but that was it. And these two books. So I'll just go through this one first. Uh, this was just a little stationery set, but I really like the actual cover. It's a good size for me. I like these slim ones. This ribbon's already done. So I can certainly turn that into a journal really easily. And it's got this nice pad of writing paper, which comes out. Um, and some envelopes, which are nice. So that was quite nice. That's right, I was, I was uh, went shopping and I went into Fremantle and did the South Fremantle op shops, which I hadn't really done before. And really wasn't, A, wasn't much there. One of the shops was the one I got this from, everything was really expensive. So there was a few other bits and pieces in this shop, but it was all too dear. What did I pay for this one? Oh, the price is not on here. Uh, I think I had to pay $4, so I had 3 or $4, which is actually quite dear for normal op shop prices. But anyway, I liked it, so I, picked, I did take that. And I think in the same shop I got this. Well, it was the first shop I went to, and that's what I, this is what I found. And the rest of my day, that day, wasn't very successful, but this is lovely. Um, collection of Botanical Illustrations. I have not seen this book before by Patricia Lee Weir. And she has a lot of, well, she's got beautiful illustrations. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And then she has all this 
sort of calligraphy stuff. It's uh, beautiful. Not that I could cut it up, <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe I can um, use it as a reference. I love the writing. Oh, I love calligraphy. Unless you want to get back into calligraphy, then she's made these beautiful letters for each one, the beginning of each chapter. And so, yeah, it goes right through the alphabet with in uh, Australian wildflowers. <laughs> Very uh, beautiful paper, beautiful book. There's our uh, Australian grass trees, um, the ones that we get here in Western Australia, Xantheria, They're everywhere. They take hundreds of years to even grow an inch, inch or two. I believe it's an inch per hundred years, but I don't know if that's 100% true. That's what we've always been told. But yeah, I can't go through every page. Look at this. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful flower. Notice how wildflowers are a lot more small and dainty than the uh, like sort of created flowers. Bread, I don't know. They don't lose too much, especially for Australia. The flowers and the leaves are often very small, but they don't lose too much water. I remember that from biology. <laughs> that's all I remember about that. Yeah, that's why they're small because uh, they don't want to have a huge surface because it'll actually dry out a lot more quickly. That's my theory on biology anyway. I don't know if it's true. <laughs> but what a beautiful book. I love it. It's, it's uh, fabric covered. It's huge. <laughs> it's heavy. Look out for that one, West Aussies or Australians in your bookshops because that is a gorgeous book. Oh, I also got this... Um, I've been seeing uh, some artists on YouTube channels, they use these mats and they can, if they just suddenly want to add paint to their project, they can just put some paint on the side and wipe it off. They're having to go look for a palette and all that kind of thing. So the only thing is I'm finding this, <laughs> it's, everything sticks to it. So I've got bits all over it, bits of dog hair and I haven't even used it yet. <laughs> and it's full of stuff. Anyway, I've got a silicone mat. It wasn't very expensive. It was like a baking sheet. So yeah. I'm going to leave the surprise box till last. I'm going to get the other box first. As I was walking out, I bought my items and then they gave me a free box to put them in underneath here. Uh, and then they said, oh, you could have these other boxes if you like. I said, oh, I really love the, uh, the Whitman's chocolates. It doesn't have chocolate in it anymore, but um, that's it. It is a gorgeous tin. I will find something to put in that. I used to love Whitman's chocolates and I've got a Whitman's tin myself, which came from the 1980s. Um, but this is... Lovely, so I just haven't decided what I'm putting in it yet, but I will find something. So this is the box of items that I actually picked things out myself. So I just picked this out. It's a hole punch, but it's a nice medium size. I've got one that's a smaller one, and I've got one that's a bigger one, and that's a nice a nice size for small tags, so grab that. She had a whole box full of um, punches and things, but anyway, I just grabbed that one. I could probably grab more. Okay, so let's go through what's in the box. Just some little, I didn't pay this price. She gave me a bulk lot, so everything was individually priced for the garage sale. But I just collected everything together and then it was $15 for the lot. So I think that's pretty good. And then she said about the boxes, so I got like three or four good, nice boxes. So I paid an extra $5. So she, I paid $20 now for, for three or four empty boxes and the, these goodies. So I thought that was quite a good price. So very thrifty. These are really cute for the journals we're making at the moment. They're really sweet. Some coloured feathers. I already have some, but that's okay. I can take those down to on, on Wednesday. The idea also I was thinking was what you know, what can I have that will go down on Wednesday? So there's these are really nice little stickers. Some blue items. I mean I don't necessarily like all of these things, but I just thought well, someone might like them because we're doing this blue and our journals are sort of blue pink apricot kind of colors on Wednesday so that's why I picked these kinds of items this is just a bag of papers I'm gonna to have to move the box I think and bring the items in what's in this so this was 
50 cents. I think it's just paper scraps. I don't really know what this is. Yeah, it's just pieces of um, paper, but that's okay. I thought these were nice for a uh, autumn journal. Vellum stickers, it says. Some more pieces of card. They were just pretty. <laughs> I really liked these. Oh, look, Cadbury's chocolates. <laughs> oh, Cadbury. Oh, cards. Obviously reprints, but uh, I just saw the Cadbury chocolate one. I didn't actually look at them, so I don't know if there's much else that's of use to me. So far, not. Don't know what these things are. Sort of like postcards. And that one's pretty. I don't mind that one. I like the Cadbury's chocolate. Uh, how do you love me so far? <laughs> Velvet soap. Velvet soap. Yeah, so the, some vintage cards, reproductions. They're right. They're good. A bundle of these. I'm not sure what they are. Oh, they come with a stick, the rub ons. They're really nice for decoration. So a whole pile of different designs. Laces, lace edge. So you get a lace edge on your page without having to have lace on there. So they were really nice. I liked those. I didn't pay 50 cents each, as I say. I got a bulk price, so that's it. A bundle of these, small row on transfers. Everyone comes with its own pop sticks, so I end up with a whole pile of pop sticks too. So a whole pile of these colourful lace rub ons. I think they're nice for decorating journals, tags, and things like that. Oh, this is all kind of stuff. I don't have anything like this. What's these? Are oh, some stencils. I won't go wrong with stencils. I told the lady I didn't want Christmas stuff and then I couldn't resist. There's some of the Christmas decoupage items, um, pages. So, obviously it came in magazines and things. <laughs> They're quite nice. I said, I don't need any more Christmas stuff, but I <laughs> couldn't resist in the end. I don't know where to get all this decoupage stuff. Um, there must be a place. I don't know how much they'll cost, but this is all Christmas, so these are really nice. My next, this year's Christmas journal, I've got some new stuff. That's all lovely, because I love these. Um, I mean, you see them everywhere, those images, but yeah, a whole bunch of Christmas die cuts, basically, for me. Okay, the Christmas stuff. There might be some more of the Christmas ones, but same, but in die cut autumn. So yeah, I've got... And do that autumn journal. I think that's Christmas as well. The so two pages of each. Nice. And the same. So I have to find out where they got the decoupage from. Roses. Mm, nice. Yep, like those. Shabby chic too. And autumn. Got quite a few of these pages. Okay. Yes, very nice um, labels. They're very pretty. And just snippets. There's two sheets of the labels. What's left of them. And more flowers. Lovely. And what's good about these, because they, they, they're they um, cut properly, <laughs> not like stickers. They're actually cut to the edges. Fantastic. Love these. It's Christmas, let's put them with the Christmas ones. So yeah, I love those. And what's this little pack of goodies? So probably some some of the die cuts that have come out that haven't that were gonna be used but haven't been used. So some flowers. Design of the month. That's actually just packaging, but I can still use that. <laughs> Cute little images, but they're Christmas, so let's put them in the Christmas pile. Flowers. Put the, I'll just put them in with the flowers. A piece of vellum. Let's put the flowers in here. I randomly picked up, picked up the blue envelopes and brown envelopes because they're probably the ones I'd use the most. Doing the blue journals at the moment. Take those to the club. She had a whole box just of all different envelopes. I just picked up one, a couple of boxes of the uh, bags of them because I didn't want to have too many. I've already got a lot of envelopes. I don't actually use envelopes that much. That one's nice. So this was just a variety pack, so I thought oh, I'll have that, so I'll get all different kinds. 
the envelopes. I do want to make more journals, like more frequently, and finish them, <laughs> and uh, maybe sell them. I don't know. I haven't sold any journals yet. I don't really sell, make them to sell. I just make them because I like making them. So that was all twenty dollars, and I got um, a free, nice Christmas box, um, a gold, a small gold box, and a big storage box, and the Whitman's tin, all for twenty dollars. Okay, and the next box is too big to get on the table, so I'm gonna have to bring things out as I go. So a cutter. I don't actually use these a lot. I've got a few, but see how it, how well it cuts. Some gold twine, which sometimes is useful. Teddy bear moving eyes. So I'll create a bundle of things that I'm going to give to some ladies at the art club because some of this I won't use and they might use it. I'll take these to the art club, the ones that are no use to me. I like the Merry Christmas. And I like the little footprints. But I don't make cards, so I don't think I'd use those. It's like a random pile of paper. That's a nice, interesting paper. Some cardstock, thick paper. Don't know what to do with that. Coloured card. Or yep, whole bunches of pretty. That's nice. I like that. Keep that separate. I like this too for a, um, a grungy journal. But yeah, a whole bunch of really nice textured paper card. Wouldn't use the shiny. I'm going to take out the ones I won't have. There's no point having it here, and I'll drop. Oh, yeah, this stuff. I don't think I'll use this, the really shiny stuff. That pearlized one's nice. That's pretty, even though it's shiny, it's pretty. They're gorgeous. Mm, love those. Another parcel delivered, but it was my essential oils. But look what I got. <laughs> packaging. And I've never had any of this packaging before. And some tissue, so. How exciting. I think we're probably the only people in the world that get excited about packaging. Oh, well they're actually quite nice. I like those. So there's two of those types of things. I've got other ones but they're sort of weird. But these ones are quite nice. I like those. So this is in the I really like pile. What's in this folder? Anything? Oh, oh. Okay. Carbon copy paper in blue. Okay. It's quite expensive to buy these days. So this one's full of stuff for Christmas. Mm, okay. More random papers. Not Christmassy. Okay. Some textured papers. They're nice. More textured papers and pretty papers. Very different. I don't have anything like these. Nice amongst my stash. And oh, these are nice papers. These are interesting. Piece of pretty vellum. I know, can you see any of this? <laughs> I haven't even looked up. Pretty vellum and some of this really interesting stuff here. It's like mesh. Hmm. Nice. Sparkly workly. Not got anything like that. Wouldn't have a clue where to get that from. And some green Christmassy stuff. Oh, it's all silver. And gold at the back. Very nice. Well that's something really different because I don't have anything like that. A whole wad of corrugated silvery paper. All different types, some card stock. Mm. 
lots of corrugators. I don't necessarily use that a lot. BIK mixed media, that's nice. I got some of that, but it's nice. So the mirror board. And then this I like. Okay. So they're separate. I'll just keep the corrugated together because I'm not too sure <laughs> where I'm going to put that. But anyway, I've got lots of corrugated. Holographic card. This looks nice. Ooh. $20 for this box. I didn't, I didn't even um, look at it. I arrived really late. I was It was dark. I was in the, the, the garage. So just handed over the money. Look, had a quick look. Yeah, looks good. <laughs> Grab it and run. And hi <laughs> to the lady who sold this to me. She said she was going to look at my channel. So really nice card. Very shiny. I don't know what I'd do with it for my projects, but it's pretty. Holographic card. Some more of this blue seashells paper. Some pearlescent card, that's quite nice, I like that. The ribbon I don't use. I'll send this to an op shop, I don't use this kind of ribbon, so I'll send that away. This particular twine is too thick for my projects, I'll probably Oh, I might take that to the club because they do macrame sometimes. Maybe you can use that for macrame, I'm not sure. It's pretty. Flock, flocking on the paper. More of that green. More of that cardstock. And a lime green. Not sure I could use lime green too much. <laughs> this is a lot of it. A little bit of the corrugated. And some of that pearlescent. I really like this flock paper. Oh, huge folder. Hmm. Corrugated. 12 by 12, I suppose, is it? Hmm. Oh, that's a good idea. So you could get 12 by 12 display cases. Hmm. 12 by 12 sheets of card, like the big folder. Might come in handy. Now we're down to the small bits and bobs. So it's a random envelopes to go my coloured envelope box. I like those ones. Those buff ones are nice. Some more of those. Okay, random envelopes. Some embellishments. Do with those random bookmarks. All of those gold stickery things. Got a sticker box somewhere, I'll go in there. Random card, random bits left over from a project. Some of those wide feathers, skeleton leaves. Oh, I could use these on the jelly plate maybe. Mm, they're nice. Something different. Um, this is stencils. Okay, so this little bag of goodies. What have we got here? Some little stars. Don't like that kind of ribbon. Don't know what these are. Oh, they're blades. Oh, they're blades, spare blades for the machine. Oh, nice. Cool bananas. Blades for a different machine, perhaps. Oh, one of those. I've got one, so now I can have one at the studio. Excellent, one of those powder puff things for em embossing. Random, and, oh that's a nice button, look at that, it's pretty. Some Rick Rick. Oh, I, when I was looking at the ad I couldn't see what was in the chocolate box and all because it was a Ferrero Rocher. It's like, what's in the chocolate box? Do I want chocolates or do I want bits and bobs? <laughs> it's bits and bobs. So, oh yeah, bits of lace and trim. Those on dangles, maybe. I like this. Put that in the trim box. And this sort of fake chain, but it's. I might be able to use that. I was actually going to buy some. That gold one's a bit big, but these ones are a bit smaller. And then you. I need the little clasps that they join joins them together. Maybe there's some in here somewhere. You never know. And then a little random box of ribbon, black and white. Coloured bits. I like these little roses, they're cute. Okay, and some stamps. 
a nice heavy duty block, some happy birthdays, butterflies are always good, congratulations, flower, yeah, apart from the happy birthdays I can use those, I've got them in my stamping collection. What took my eye when I first got there, I haven't got any of these, oh stamp cleaner, okay cool. Gemstone glue, okay, yeah, handy. I've got some of that, but that's handy. Glossy accents. I've seen people using this. This one's nearly full bottle, and that one's a, a half empty bottle. But glossy accents by Ranger. Yep, clear dimensional embellishment. I was going to literally buy some, so yeah, glad to have those to try them out. Bronze, deep red, and blue. ink looks like it's watercolor ink type of thing try those out one day and see what they do and if you are watching which I've sorry I've forgotten your name kind lady that sold these items to me <laughs> and you see something I don't know what it is then you can you can uh, make a comment for me please that would be lovely that's random sponge which is always handy to have okay some glitter don't use glitter a lot but green and that might come in handy at Christmas some green and white punches do there's any gold oh is that a corner rounder let me find out corner rounders I love corner rounders oh nice one that's a good quality one too. <laughs> I like that one. Cool. Oh, and okay, there you go. Little pointy corner. Not sure that would be that useful for me, but and it's really hard to use, but it's nice. Okay, something different anyway. Some thing. <laughs> Don't know what that is. I'll look at that in a minute. Looks like there might be some more glitter. Don't think it's embossing powder. And then I found all these. I really liked all these because I've got some of these, and I'm I can now can I can now sort out my pile, and have some here and some there at the art club. So stickles or um, you know what are they called? What are mine called? these ones liquid pearls and pearl drops I don't like the pearl drops so I've got some of these liquid pearls you squish them down and we'll wait for them to dry so these are all the colors I've got but you should see how many I've got now <laughs> plenty of plenty of stuff in this $20 box and plenty of stuff in the other $20 box so the only dud item was the book from Amazon <laughs> that's I think everything I have at the moment to show you for my Thrifty Thursday. Please check out Turquoise Dreaming with Sherry who hosts the Thrifty Thursday and all the other channels you can probably find under the hashtag Thrifty Thursday banner. And um, yeah, please check them out and see what else people have. I haven't done one for a while. I just do them now when I have things to show you. I can't, I don't do them every week, but um, I will have a link below to Sherry's channel and you can just put the hashtags Thrifty Thursday into to find many channels who are doing Thrifty Thursdays. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. And I'll go and try and figure out what this is. Here we go. Ta -da. I think it's glitter. An unopened bottle of blue glitter. Very pretty.